Welcome to True Projects. In this video, we are going to explain about weapon detection in real-time CCTV videos using deep learning. Introduction. The project explains how important safety and security are in today's society and how CCTV cameras are utilized for monitoring and surveillance. The initiative emphasizes the demand for an automated system that can identify criminal activity, especially when it involves handheld weapons. The group has created a system that analyzes real-time CCTV data to look for dangerous weapons using deep learning algorithms. The project also examines the difficulties in detecting weapons such as noting angle variations and being obscured by the person carrying the gun and those nearby. For real-time applications, the project has developed their own dataset and deployed a variety of algorithms including VGG16, Inception V3, Inception ResNet V2, etc. Objective. The objective of the project is to create a weapon detection system from scratch using the FRCNN Faster RCNN algorithm. The project performs precise weapon detection in both photos and videos by training the model using a dataset made up of weapon images tagged with bounding box coordinate contained in XML files. By quickly identifying weapons and assisting security professionals in averting threats in real time, the system improves public safety. It uses computer vision techniques to locate fi firearms automatically. The offered graphical interface makes the technology accessible and efficient for security applications by streamlining dataset uploading, model training, and practical testing. Requirements. The requirements of the project are hardware requirements and software requirements. In hardware requirements, we have operating system, Windows only, processor i5 and above, RAM 4GB and above, hard disk 20GB and above. Software requirements. In software requirements, we have Python IDLE with 3.7 version. Methodology. To implement this project, we have designed the following modules. The first module is Upload Weapon Dataset. This module involves uploading a dataset of images containing weapons. The dataset serves as the basis for training the weapon detection model. Each image is annotated with bounding box information using XML files indicating the location of the weapon in the image. Second module is generate and load weapon detection model. In this module, the weapon detection model is generated and loaded. The model is based on the faster RCNN architecture, a popular object detection framework. It is designed to learn and identify weapons within images and videos by leveraging deep learning techniques. Third module is upload image. Users can upload an individual image that they want to analyze for the presence of weapons. This image will be processed by the loaded weapon detection model to determine if any weapons are detected within it. Fourth module is detect weapon from image. Once an image is uploaded, this module utilizes the loaded FRCNN faster R convolutional neural network model to analyze the image and identify the presence of weapons. Detected weapons are highlighted using bounded box providing a visual representation of the model's finding. Fifth module is detect weapon from video. This module extends the weapon detection capability to real-time CCTV videos. Users can upload a video file and the FRCNN model will process each frame in the video to detect weapons. This enables real-time monitoring and detection of weapons within surveillance footage. Sixth module is FRCNN Weapon Detection Training Accuracy Loss Graph. This module displays the training progress of the FRCNN model. It shows a graph with epochs on the x-axis and accuracy and loss values on the y-axis. The accuracy line indicates how well the model is identifying weapons, while the loss line reflects the reduction in prediction error during training. Execution For the execution of the project, we need to open the code folder. This is the code folder. This is the dataset folder. In the dataset folder, we have annotations folder and images folder. In the annotations folder, we have XML file. And in the images folder, we have all the images which we have used for the training of this algorithm. This is the model folder. This folder contains pickle and dot h file stored, which contains algorithm information. These pickle and dot h files can be loaded into the project code during runtime to utilize the train models. And this is the test images in which we have the test images which we have used during the execution of the project. And this is the videos folder in which we have the video which we have used during the execution of the project. This is the main code file. This is run.batch file 
Instead of executing our project in the command line interface, we have created Windows batch file to execute the project. Double click on run.bat file. A graphical user interface will pop up. This is the graphical user interface which we have created using the Kenta library in Python. Using this GUI, we will interact with the project. Click on Upload Weapon Dataset to upload the dataset. Select XMLS. So here we can see that the dataset is loaded and the total images found in the dataset is this much. Now click on Run YOLO V4 Weapon Detection Model. So after training YOLO V4, we will get its accuracy, precision, recall, F-score and weapon detection model is loaded. Now click on run inception ResNet V2 to train the algorithm and get its accuracy. After training Inception ResNet V2, we will get its accuracy, precision, recall and F-score. Now click on run VGG16 to get its accuracy. After training VGG16 algorithm, we will get its accuracy, precision, recall and F-score. Now click on run Inception V3 to get its accuracy. After training Inception V3, we will get the performance metrics of Inception V3. Now click on upload image to upload the image. I am selecting the second image and open. So here we can see that the image is loaded. Now click on detect weapon from image. So here we can see that this is the image which I have just uploaded now and here we can see that this is the weapon and this weapon is detected and here we can see the bounding box. Now close the image and click on detect weapon from video. So we will upload this video and open. So here we can see that this is the video which is playing and in the video we can see that the weapon is detected. And this is the weapon which is detected by a bounding box. Now close the video. Click on YOLO. Click on YOLO V4 weapon detection training accuracy and loss graph. So here this is the accuracy and loss graph. X axis represents epoch and Y axis represents accuracy. And the green line represents the accuracy and red line represents loss. With each increasing epoch, accuracy increases and loss decreases. Now close the graph. Click on all algorithms comparison graph. So here this is the comparison graph. X axis represents the different algorithms and Y axis represents the accuracy value. So here we can see that each algorithm is having a different metric and each metric is represented with a different color. So here we can see that blue color represents accuracy, orange color represents FSCO, green color represents precision and red color represents recall. So from this graph we can say that VGG16 performed well. Now close the graph and the final conclusion of the project is The project focuses on building a custom FRCNN algorithm for weapon detection. FRCNN, faster recurrent convolutional neural network model, must be trained to recognize fire, firearms in pitches and movies. The model is trained by annotating bounding boxes in weapon pitches and XML files. Users can upload datasets, pitches and videos to the project's interface for in-the-movement detection. Graphs displays how training progresses with accuracy improving and loss reducing. In support of security and surveillance application, the project effectively displays the capability to detect firearms in a variety of settings. The combination of real-world detection and a customized FRCNN implementations highlights its efficiency in tackling important issues. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you for watching video. For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.